Hello, and welcome back to what's bubbling a zim. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to take a look at some of the new things in Zim NFT, and in particular, something that we've been waiting for for a while, and that is an input text field. So to have editable text, input text, right on the canvas. Previously, we had done that uh, with the Zim text area, which is really a, an HTML text area overlaid on the canvas. But the problem with that is you can't put stuff on top of that because it's overlaid on the canvas. So this has been a long time coming and we didn't know if it would be possible. Let's show you an example of what we mean. So what we'll do is we'll go to the code section here and hit copy. That copies our template. We just did a a bubbling on this thing right here, the crystal, the one thing called. So if you want to see more about that, have a look at our previous bubbling. And we'll paste our template right in here. And there's that Zim crystal, a single call, script call to Zim now, rather than having to, to call CreateJS and Zim, or even more files later when it comes to things like uh, uh, adding physics modules, game modules, sockets, etc. There are crystals for those as well. All right, so now we're down here in our code. We'll get rid of that stuff, our circle that's in there. And we will say, give me a new text input like that. Uh, we'll want to dot center that or put it on the stage. There we go. And we'll open this up in Browser Plus, or you could open it up in a browser. And there it is, so test input. So we could already do that with a, a text area, but isn't that nice? So this is really the canvas. And uh, the bulk of this was coded by Kojak. Kojak? <laughs> Kojak? <laughs> I'm not sure how to say it. Uh, and so thank you very much to him. Uh, what he's done is he's mirrored in, invisibly mirrored an HTML input field and figured out where we're selecting here and matching that on the input field. So arrows work. Everything seems to work just as a, a text field would in, in HTML. So that's super. So we were able to do this, but we couldn't put stuff on top. So now I'd like to demonstrate that things can be put on top there. We can also rotate it if we wanted to. Dot rote, for instance, uh, 20 degrees. And there it is rotated. And we can type in, in there rotated. So that's something we couldn't do. Be well, I don't know. I suppose maybe we could have done it before. Yeah, probably with the CSS transformation on, in, on a text area. Anyway, aside from that, you don't often have to rotate your text. Uh, let's put something on top of this. How about a new circle uh, that we will dot, we'll center it, and we'll dot drag it. Okay, so now there's the new circle, and we can pick that up, and this is here, and look at that. Okay, so that stuff is underneath. And yet we can still drag on top of it. So super, there may be plans in the future for doing a text area. So like a multi-line field. At the moment, it's a single line input field. We That that was tricky to work that through. So what we did is we, we took um, Kjoex. Um, we took his... Uh, his functionality that he had done, which was basically an, uh, a label, a Zim label that would work. But as you type, the label would expand and get bigger and bigger and bigger, or smaller and smaller and smaller if you deleted things. So we took that and we added it to a Zim window. So this is a Zim window. And as you type here, that expands, but look, we've masked it so that it it leaves the window and then applied also the logic to be able to shift it and move it as you uh, go from side to side there. Um, and so we called his work a, an input, no, sorry, a label input, label input. So label input. 
Uh, if you want to see what that looks like, you would have to do it on the text input itself. So text input dot, so it's a, it's a static class, I guess. <laughs> um, so you would say new text input, label input like so, and then dot, mm, we'll locate that at uh, 100 comma 100. And let's have a look. So there it is. This is an editable label. Oh, I don't know where the un undefined came from. That's interesting. Um, there's the editable label, but as you can see, that keeps growing and there, there's no box available for it. Okay, but that's the editable label. So if you need functionality like that, where something's editable like that, that just keeps growing, then you can access it with the text input, label input, and that's available in the docs for you to see. But in general, we figure that most people will probably need an input field like this. So this act, this we are calling text input, and that has uh, in the docs, for instance, you can see all the work there. Let's go to the docs. And look up text, go. There's the text input. Here's all of the, the parameters that are available for that. Examples, information about the parameters. Various properties available as well. You can add a placeholder if you want. Uh, as, a, as actually a, um, a parameter here, there's a placeholder right there. It will be quite common for you. And then down below is the static property called label input. So there's information on that and some things that you can do. All the parameters are basically the same as a label. So we uh, said check out the label for the parameters. Yay! And there's events. You've got focus and blur. Input when somebody starts typing and change if they leave focus and it's different than it was before. So input will be every key that you press. And that's what we were doing with text area as well. And it's very similar to what is done in the HTML input world as well. To see the um, placeholder, that would be placeholder, all lowercase, colon, uh, enter. Oh string enter text like so and we refresh here and there's your placeholder so as you start typing the placeholder goes away and when you delete the placeholder comes back yay <laughs> Woo -woo -woo. so it's been a zim bubbling on the text input uh, here in zim nft Yay, that's been a long time coming. It's been something that we've all been interested in having. And here it is in Zim NFT. Have a great day or night. Please come and join us at zimjs.com slash discord or zimjs.com slash slack. And hang out with us. Ask any questions. We'd love to hear from you or meet you. Bye-bye.